Hey guys, my name is Gabby and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is like my third attempt trying to make a YouTube channel and every time I make one I just kind of like get unmotivated and don't really follow through with it or keep up but this time I'm really going to try because we're in quarantine and I figured why not. So before I posted this, I went on to my Instagram and I asked my Instagram followers and friends to ask me some questions that they wanted to know about me so that I could put them here for you guys so that you could get to know me a little bit better. To be honest, I don't really have a genre or a type of video right now. I'm probably going to be doing more of like a vlog type of thing but I don't want to put any labels on it yet because I'm not really sure what this channel is going to look like in the coming weeks or months. So just know that we will be figuring it out. So I am going to look through some of the questions that people asked me and I am going to answer them here. So hopefully you can get to know me a little bit better and if you like what you see, you'll subscribe and you'll watch more of my videos. So I am going to go on to the gram. All right, so the first question is, after you cut your finger, did you invest in a protective glove alone? Okay, so a little bit of backstory. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was in the kitchen, I was making breakfast, and I was cutting up an avocado, and I sliced open my finger. Um, and uh, it was pretty painful, well, after the fact, not during. Um, I did need to get stitches, but I also had the option of getting skin glue, so they just glued my finger together and put it in a brace. And I had the brace on for about five days and then I took it off and my finger is healing. I don't know if you can see that, but I am my own superhero because that is crazy. I'm healed. Um, it still kind of hurts, but anyways, the question was, did you invest in a protective glove? And the answer is no. No, I did not because I basically haven't been using this finger so much. As of late, I just kind of, when I wash the dishes, it's more of like a scrubby, 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 and the finger stays up. Yeah. Okay. The second question is, what is your favorite style of art to create? To be honest, I'm not really up to date with like the different trends of art. I like to uh, paint and draw as you can see I don't know if you can see my wall but um, I like to color a lot um, but painting I guess is what is your favorite style of art to create so painting I like to paint and then also I like to make music that's also considered an art form um, and hopefully I can share that aspect with you guys as time goes on um, because I do like to sing uh, yeah. Okay. Um, is your major still nursing? Miss you. Miss you too. Um, yes, my major still is nursing. Um, right now I'm going to school at a university in Washington and I am trying to get into a nursing school and then once I finish the semester I can um, get into a nursing program um, yeah <laughs> okay who are your culinary inspirations um, to be honest I don't watch like a lot of cooking shows or anything like that um, really the only inspirations that I have to kind of I guess influence me is probably my mom because she cooked a lot when I was growing up. Um, she did watch the Food Network a lot and actually 
I just started following, um, I think her name is Katie Lee on Instagram and uh, my mom used to watch her. I can't remember what the show is, but she's so cute and she um, is so fun. She makes a lot of good recipes. Her and then also the Pioneer Woman, my mom used to watch. Um, and they just had like a, a love for food and so I liked watching that because they enjoyed it so much. Um, also my grandma, my mom's mom, she makes really good meatballs. Um, which I don't eat meat anymore so I can't enjoy them but she made very good meatballs so she is definitely a culinary inspiration um, another question is a lot of food questions <laughs> uh, what are your favorite memories about food while growing up I guess something that stands out to me is like going to family functions when I was younger um, all of my mom's brothers and sisters were out in California my aunts and uncles and um, for every like holiday or just like a get-together we would all go to my uncle Christopher's house and he had like a really nice house and they would always have like snacks and food and especially for like holidays and stuff and another memory um, on my dad's side of the family for Christmas Eve um, we would celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve and one of the things that we would do every Christmas Eve is my grandma would make chili and cornbread. Um, we've kind of moved away from that tradition, but I very much enjoyed that. Um, I can't have chili anymore, but that was a, that was a good memory. Anywho, um, another question is uh, Nike or Adidas? I am going to say Nike because I own, I would say, more Nike stuff than I do Adidas and I don't own a lot of like sport things. I did have an Adidas shirt but I heard that they're kind of a racist company. I don't know if that's true but um, I would go with Nike just because that's what my shoes are. Okay, somebody asked what is your biggest fear um my biggest fear to be honest i have a lot of them i can't just like say one thing um oof. i'm afraid of a lot of things so it's hard to answer that question <laughs> um yeah <laughs> okay and then another question is uh, what was your favorite family vacation? Um, so when I was younger, I used to travel with my grandparents a lot and we would go, um, every summer since I was like a year old, um, we would always go to this place called Bundy Lake. That was definitely a favorite memory of mine. Um, we don't go there anymore. Um, but I would say that my favorite family vacation, um, my grandparents took me on a three month cross country trip in an RV and we went to like 38 states and we also went to Canada and Mexico. Um, I was nine years old when we took that trip so um, some of the memories are kind of patchy but my grandma made me journal. So I have pictures and I have those little journalings to remind me of it. Um, okay, let us see. Obviously I can't answer all the questions just because that would be a very long video. Um, I'm just kind of looking through. Um, what makes you laugh the most? Um, to be honest, I would say that I have a really good sense of humor um, and I don't take a lot of things too seriously so I laugh at a lot of things. There's not like one specific thing that makes me laugh but my friends definitely um, make me laugh I guess a lot um, just because we're super silly together um, and say a lot of dumb stuff so yeah <laughs> okay guys so I think that's all we have time for today if you liked this video please subscribe to my channel it's Gabby and if you liked this video a lot give it a big thumbs up for me Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.